Welcome Capricorn. Okay, so we are going to be looking at the next two weeks and what is going on for you and maybe hopefully some guidance to help you through the next two weeks. Okay, we'll be using, what will we be using here? Nature's Whispers, Oracle Cards, the Grace Cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so I'll give these a quick shuffle. Um, also, Capricorn, please go and check out your activation if you haven't already. Okay, because um, that may help you also. Um, and if there's any other activations that you feel called to check out, go keep, check those out. Regardless of zodiac signs, I also did extra ones that didn't come out for the zodiac. So check those out too if you feel called to. Okay, so let's get started. First up, we have gratitude and appreciation. I feel like, um, Capricorn, this is something that you've actually been, been working on. Um, and the thing is here, Capricorn, is that when you feel gratitude and appreciation, I feel as though you kind of like, it's natural to start seeing the world differently and you start to see things um a bit more magical i would say um there's more color and and what happens is when you start to appreciate what it is that is around you what's happening is you're projecting that vibration out to the universe so the universe turns and brings more of that to you okay it responds to that vibration and i feel like this has been happening for you or for some of you, it could be something that you're working on. Okay, so let's just have a look here and see what else we have. Okay, that was quick for gratitude and appreciation. Didn't even get to finish saying what I was saying. <laughs> okay, so we have silence is the first one here. Yes, sitting in the silence, right? Um, clearing that mind of all thoughts, particularly negative thoughts or thoughts that aren't serving you, you know, Thoughts that are raising emotions in you that that don't serve you, okay? Um, we also have courage here. I feel like for some of you, Capricorn, you um, have learned to go into the silence. Or maybe you need to learn to go into the silence, right? I feel as though there's been quite a significant shift for you in your life and um, there's been a period of real struggle. It's, it's been really, really hard for some of you and um, that's such an understatement. I don't even think there's words to describe how how difficult it has been for you and even difficult feels like I'm minimizing what has gone on for you and it's taken a lot for you you know I see this flower as you I see this as you growing through this crack with no no nurturing no you know look a flower in the garden needs lots of, lots of min minerals sun um, nutrients, you know, it needs the right environment around it to be able to thrive and grow. And I feel like what's happened for you, Capricorn, is you've managed somehow to grow in an environment that hasn't been, let's face it, it hasn't been the best. Yeah, I feel like you're becoming more in tune with what's going on inside of you. And potentially it's been that you, I'm, I'm hoping for you Capricorn, that you have more gratitude and appreciation for yourself. So let's have a look at the next card here. Be gentle with yourself. Okay, so yes, you see, this flower is not going to grow 
as easily if um, it's been reprimanded and, you know, put down. Um, you imagine, you, you know, this flower, like I said before, in an environment that's not encouraging, that's not supportive, right? How on earth is it going to get to its best, um, reach its, its fullest abilities, reaching its you know, raising up to the heights that it could ever possibly raise up to when, you know, it's been put down and it's been rubbished and it's been scolded and it's been, you know, absolutely pretty much abused. Interesting thing, though, I feel like some of you have still grown through that environment. I wonder if, if what's happened is for some of you, you've actually withdrawn into yourself and just silently, silently been growing. Because looking at this, right, I feel like that I feel like you could have have got it up here. Yeah, but what's happened is because of the environment, maybe you've just gotten to here. And I feel like, Capricorn, that being gentle with yourself, okay, is going to help you to flourish more. Okay, it's going to help your growth to accelerate. And, and I look at the look on this person's face here. It's sort of like there's this disconnection with what is going on around her. Um... And, and a bit of a, a contrast from this card where I don't feel like she is seeing necessarily what's around her. Um, so I feel like because of the environment, I feel like it's extra important for you to make sure that in your mind and in your heart, you are being kind to yourself. Okay, but let's have a look further here. Ooh. Healing, we've had jumper that like bounced out of the deck and then bounced on my hand <laughs> and ripeness healing doing the healing that you need as you go through this process of healing you know this is very important for you to be really really kind to yourself because at the end of the day Capricorn I think what we do is we tend to be so hard on ourselves and have such high expectations which at times are impossible to meet and um, but then if someone came along with exactly the same story and relate that to you you would be encouraging them and telling them how amazing they are how much they've accomplished already and I feel like this is what you need to do for yourself okay um, I feel like some of you are so hard on yourself and um, and it's sort of discouraging the growth, okay? So when, when we're talking about environment, yes, I'm talking about external environment. I also want you to pay particular attention to the internal environment, okay? What is going on inside of your mind, okay? And silencing your mind is one way to keep that in check. Okay, because the more you practice silencing, sitting in that silence, the more, um, I suppose, vigilant you become of what is then entering your mind. Because when it's all just chatter, 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 it's hard to, um, to grab what is coming through because it's all so fast, right? But when the mind is silent... The next thought that comes in, it's very clear. Very clear. Okay, to me, I'm being shown a glass that hasn't been washed for a really long time. And you put water in it um, and the water may look murky and unclear. But in fact, the water is, is clean. It's the glass that is murky and unclear. And once the glass is washed, then it the whole, you know, the you can see the water for what it is. And I feel like it's the same with you, with your mind. Going into the silence is a bit like washing the glass, if you like. Okay? Interesting analogy. 
<laughs> okay, so we also have ripeness here. And, you know, it could be for some of you, Capricorn, that you're at, at the end of this healing journey. You're approaching the end of the healing journey. Um, and so I suppose in that regard, this is where it's crucial for you to be gentle with yourself, maybe more than ever, because when you're towards the end, you know, it could be that you've learned loads of things along this journey, okay? And it's understandable that what we may have learned right at the beginning sometimes gets forgotten as we go along, as we progress, right? And so there might be something really simple, such as, I don't know, breathe, right? And we go along and we've got all these weird and wonderful ways of dealing with things and sometimes we just lose sight of the basics and um, so if you find yourself doing that be gentle with yourself and just remind yourself kindly Capricorn kindly just remember to breathe you know um, yeah but for others of you I feel like there is something that is done and dusted okay um, it could be that there's been a journey that you've been on and you've been growing something okay could even be yourself, okay? And maybe there's a change of direction needed because it could be that you've done as much as you possibly can and um, and now it's time to, you know, there might be a little bit more to go, yes, but now is the time to start considering where do I want to go after this? What direction do I want to go in? And what is it that I want to achieve for myself, okay? Fresh approach, well, yes, here we go. Fresh approach, and this could be about what I was talking about before, about what you've learned at the beginning. Maybe there are things that need a fresh approach now because what happens is also we advance to a point where those things may not serve us the way they served us at the beginning. So sometimes we need a fresh approach in order to have that work more effectively for us. Okay, um, but let's have a look more at a fresh approach. Okay, we've got the burden, yep, and, okay, um, and breakthrough, wow, yes. So with the burden here, okay, traveling along this journey, it's sort of like picking up a couple of extra passengers here, okay, and what's happened is those passengers may have made, you know, you might have found them at stage, say, let's say the journey is from zero to ten, okay, because that's how these cards work. And so, you know, you're, you're at stage six of the journey, for example. Okay, you've picked up a cap, couple of passengers because maybe at stage three, um, you wanted company along the way. So they jumped in with you and as things progressed, they started to wear you down and started to kind of hold you back because their journey is different than yours. Okay, and so maybe now it's time to consider this fresh approach, okay? How do I want to travel the rest of this journey? Um, who do I want to travel it with, okay? And when you start really looking at that, looking at the influence of others around you and even situations, and it could be a job, um, it could be an area that you're living in, whatever, okay? Just consider everything and how is it serving you now in this leg of the journey that you're on, okay? And I feel like that this will give you a breakthrough that you need, okay? And be able to approach things in a fresh way, okay? It's sort of like cleaning the glass, yeah? This is your time to clean the glass, okay? So next we have contemplation. I feel like this is running on from that. Um, um, I really would like you to take um, some time, Capricorn, to look back on where you started and to where you are now, okay, and consider the strength it has taken for you to grow and to get to where you are right now, because I feel like some of you aren't really uh, acknowledging that part of yourself, okay, look at the transformation, Look at the magical things that have happened along the way. Even if it's been a really hard journey, just consider that it's not just been one transformation that you've made. It's almost as though each step of the way has required another transformation and another change and another shift. 
you know. So these are all sorts of things I think that it's really important for you to give yourself credit for because you're the one who has made these ha happen. And sure, you might have had help along the way from others, but ultimately, at the end of the day, it is your life that you are traveling. And give yourself some credit, yeah? Okay, so we've got experiencing jumped out here. I like that because it is very much like the contemplation card. I'll show you in a minute. And we've got guidance. Okay, so with this experiencing card, Just getting this, this need to immerse yourself. I'm not clear on what it is that you need to immerse yourself in. Okay, um, nature, potentially, for some of you. Um, it could even be the journey, because with this fresh approach, With this fresh approach, okay, and the contemplation, it could very well be a matter of sitting down and sort of imagining, okay, what if I want to go in this direction, what is that going to look like, and actually going into that for yourself and sort of, um, I suppose, visually experiencing that, imagining what it would be like. How would that feel? Is that, is that a path I want to travel down? Is this a direction I want to go in? What about this way? Could I go that way? What would that be like, you know? And sure, it can be unpredictable because you don't know if you haven't traveled that path. Yeah, but when, you know, earlier when I was talking about the vibration and what you're putting out there with, with you know, gratitude and appreciation and, and the universe brings that back more to you this is what you're sort of doing when you're doing this experiencing and this contemplating okay you're you're playing around with it and when you get to somewhere that you go yeah you know what this is me and this is the path I want to go down then hold that hold that vibration within you all the time you know keep giving that out Whatever you want to achieve on that path and whatever you want to come back to you and what destination you want to arrive at is the vibration that you want to be putting out there. So that is where you end up, okay? Um, and we have guidance here. So this is... This is connecting in, okay, with the angels and your guides who are there to guide you and others around you as well, okay. Um, I feel as though also this is important for you to be, again, acknowledging each step that you make, okay, Um I feel like for some of you Capricorn, there is, um, it's, it, for some reason, this card and this card are coming together for me, because I feel like there's maybe some guidance that, okay, we've got two scenarios here, for some of you, it could be that you're receiving guidance that you don't particularly want from people around you. Okay, for others of you, there is um, a need to seek out guidance. Okay, so you just work out what applies to you with your situation. Okay, um, but I would say for some of you to consider what, well actually no, for all of you, consider what guidance is coming in and just see what you could use. Because there could be, someone could come along with, um, okay, so what I'm being shown is a roadmap here, and, you know, once you've decided on the destination, if you haven't already, okay, you've got a list of, um, directions to get to this destination, okay, you then have, um, someone else come along with a different route and go, do you know what, scrap that, I know another way, I know a shortcut, 
uh, that could get you there quicker. Someone else comes along and the route is longer, but it's more adventurous, you know, and then someone else comes along and goes, never mind all that, here's it, go catch a plane and go over, you know, um, go under, go around. There's all these options for you. So I feel like this is you considering all possible routes and which direction, what, sorry, which route you would like to take to get to the destination, okay, because that is in your control, okay, open your heart, open your heart, yep, that's cool, that, that's following on from this, because I'm really drawn to this one here, who is turning away, turning away from something, and it's sort of like, go in this direction, okay, so Capricorn, your heart, your heart wants to go in a certain direction, but your mind is like, nah, we're not doing that, I've done that before, and this is where I ended up. But the thing is that this experiencing could very well be that you need to experience the unhealed emotions, okay, that have been suppressed. So that the outcome of opening your heart will be different for you, and a much more pleasurable one. So we've got the creator. Yeah, yes, creating your own reality, right? If you focus on what went on in the past and believe that that's all you're going to get, then that is all you will get, okay? How do you want to create that differently? Doing things differently than what they were done before, okay? Understanding. Understanding that once upon a time, you flew out of the cage and you broke your wing. You had a broken wing. And I just wonder, for some of you, that you've been in the cage and you've been doing the healing that you need to do in order for you to step out again and fly. And maybe it's time now for you to step out and fly, Capricorn, but boy, oh boy, it's scary, isn't it? It's so scary. Because what happened before when you flew, you got a broken wing. What happened before when you opened your heart, it got broken. And now it's time to step out. And it could be that you want to step out and start flying again, but you're afraid. That's understandable. But remember what is within you. Remember who you truly are, okay? Go into the silence, okay, and tap into this creator. Because you look at the energy of this creator and even this person in the silence here. They have no fear of doing this. And even if they do, they remember who they are. They are the creator, all right? So they are the one who grew through this crack, man, and they got out there and they rose up. Even if it wasn't to the degree that they could potentially could have. This time, you can plant yourself into a nurturing, loving environment in order to grow to beyond, beyond what you could ever imagine. Okay, so let's have a look here. Oh, we've done that. Sorry. Like, I've only got one card here, but that's because I'm making a mess of the cards, like I usually do. Amplify your positive emotions. Perfect. This is perfect. Yes, Capricorn. This is exactly what I've been talking about. See the ripple? See the ripple effect here? This is what your emotions are happening with. I'm getting excited. I'm getting all my words muddled. This is what is happening with your emotions. Every emotion you feel regardless of whether it's positive or necklace, negative, slow down, slow down, it gets amplified, okay, and just like in the pond, yes, there's the water's edge where the ripple may stop, but what happens is it creates a bit of a tide, and so the ripples go out, and they hit the water, water's edge, and what happens then? They come back in. And if you're standing in the middle of the pond, this is you in the middle of the pond, having your emotions send out this ripple effect, and then they turn back and come back into you. So be aware of that, that that will always come back. It's this flow, constantly this flow. So your emotions, they go out into the universe, and the universe sends, sends them back. The same thing, they don't get transmuted. They come back. And it's just this constant flow back and forth. So be aware of what you're putting out there. And, and 
if, if your emotions feel like, um, oh, I can't control this emotion, I don't want to put it out there, look at it, address it, acknowledge it, see what it wants, okay? Acknowledge that emotion. That is all part of the healing, okay? Letting those emotions have a voice so they don't keep popping up, okay? So let's have a look. Tell me more about amplify your, your emotions, positive emotions. Okay. Turn that one over. We've got two. Slowing down. <laughs> That's so funny because I was like trying to spit everything out and it was getting all jumbled, mumble jumbled. Slowing down. Awareness. Yep. Be aware of what is within you and what it is that you are putting out there. Okay. Very important. And slowing down is going to help you be, you know, become aware of that. Okay. Um, I, that is perfect. Honestly, I'm not going to see if there's anything else to come because I feel like that's perfect message for you, Capricorn. But let's have a look at the grace cards now and see what the grace cards have to, have to add to all this. Okay, so Capricorn, what do the grace cards have to say today? I love these cards. They're absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we've got beauty. <laughs> Let me have a look at this. Surround yourself, this is, so there's like messages on the back, so I'm going to read this out to you. Surround yourself with simple pleasures. Beauty is the language of the divine. Yeah, that's so nice, right? When you're looking at, you know, especially with gratitude and appreciation, right? Amplifying your positive emotions, surrounding yourself, surrounding, surrounding yourself with simple pleasures is going to create this this these positive emotions to to actually be experienced by you you know back and forth back and forth and look i don't want to say that you'll never experience a negative emotion again if you have a negative emotion don't let it happen because that's suppressing it you're going to have negative emotions okay but what you want is the, you don't want those negative emotions to be ruling you. Okay, so this is why it's really important to bring them out and acknowledge them. So don't, they don't keep popping to the surface and popping up and popping up. Because the only reason they're popping up is because they want acknowledgement. Okay, so just make sure you are giving those, those emotions that aren't so positive acknowledgement and um, giving them a voice so they don't, they don't need to keep nagging at you, okay, to be seen and heard. Okay, so honour. Care for your soul. Honour the divinity within you by practising extreme self-care. And honestly, letting these emotions come up and out and giving them a voice and acknowledging them is self-care. That's what self-love is about. Yeah? Okay, so one more. The Capricorn, please. Thank you. Oh, Capricorn. Oh, shine, shine, Capricorn. Oh, I love this. I love that this is ending on this for you because this is what you deserve. You deserve to shine and be out there and, you know, like just risen up. Risen up. And honestly, I take my hat off to you because I feel like many of you have really been on this journey alone. Um, you might have had a little bit of support here and there, but ultimately it's been a journey that you've taken alone and it's been it's been tough, man. It's been tough because, and the reason I say you've done it alone is because you've held a lot within you. You've kept a lot to yourself. And so, yeah, but anyway... Capricorn, shine, step into the light. You are a gift to the world. Oh, I love that. I loved that. I love that. Now that's the kind of positive emotion we want to project out there, right? So yes, Capricorn, you are a gift to the world. So never, ever, ever forget that, okay? Capricorn, I'm going to leave that with you. Please share and these videos because we want to help as many people as we can so let's get these out there okay and um yeah amazing capricorn take care of your beautiful selves
See you. Bye-bye.